Very good. So this is a production deployment of H2. And you can, uh, if you try to start here, you can get into the collection page and you try to create something, you'll notice that you get a banner at the top that says creation or updating anything is disabled. And this is sort of a, a fail safe mechanism that we have so that nothing happens in production until we're ready to turn it on. Now I'm going to switch over to our staging environment. Oh, not that. Our staging environment. Um, you can see we have a nice landing page. Some of the Stanford Library um, styles, footer, header. Uh, you click this button to get started, and it says, "Oh, you're you're not authorized, so we need to log in." Said I was already logged in, so we'll need to check that out. Now, if we log in and start here, um, we can start by creating a new collection. So here's our demo. and contact email. Um, currently, we have some of these other elements defined, um, but currently that's not actually doing anything. And we can set up who is allowed to deposit in here. So um, we'll say Peter. Peter is a depositor. Um, and then we have two collections show up. Um, you can either go ahead and edit that collection and change who's allowed to deposit. And then we'll show what a deposit looks like into that collection. So the first thing that happens is you get asked what type of thing you want to deposit. And then we go to the screen. Um, I'm going to pull up some files to, to load in. And we can go ahead and add a description. Sure, we're allowed to hide it. Um, go ahead and I'm just going to avoid adding a title or a contact email for a little bit, and we'll just go down and hit deposit and and show that oh, it it actually has these fields are required. You need to fill them in. It has an indication. You must provide a title. Um, and then if you put something that's not an email in, like Peter is the contact, um, when we try to deposit that again, it's going to not accept that because that's not an email address. But if we had Peter at Stanford, that is a valid thing. Um, we can add our contributors, so, uh, or another one. Primary advisor, um, and we can add dates. We'll add uh, nineteen thirty-four. Um, month is optional here. Uh, we can add date range. So click date range. To One, and 2021 is not valid because it's created in the future. You can't, can't do that. So we can set this back to another year. We need an abstract. You can add a few keywords. Um, birds and say, actually, we don't want birds, just dogs and cats. Um, we get subtypes based on the type we selected earlier, and we can add our own citation. We have a who is allowed to access this. We could either pick the community or, or everybody. We have licenses to choose from. Choose PDDL and deposit. Still not going to let me deposit because I haven't agreed to the terms of deposit. 
and then we can click deposit. This is just showing us sort of a, a scratch page that shows it saves some of the stuff here. Um, it looks like we might not have the, all the contributors coming off the form just yet. We do get keywords, attached files, not quite there yet. Um, but after we, we have this here, we can just hit refresh. And what we're expecting to see is that a Druid is going to show up because that's going to indicate that it actually deposited the item into SCR. It usually takes a minute or so. And there's our Druid now. And I can copy that Druid and go to Argo stage, and pop that in. And we can see that we've transferred our item over into here and we have the demo deposit. Um, it has very basic descriptive metadata, just a title and abstract at this point uh, and no attached files, but it did accession this as a metadata only item.